on the tenth day of the month of the seventh month, there shall be a day of atonement. It shall be in holy convocation unto you, and you shall afflict your souls, and offer an offering made by fire unto the Lord, and you shall do no work in that same day, for it is a day of atonement to make an atonement for you before the Lord your power. For whosoever, whatsoever soul it be that shall not be afflicted in that same day, he shall be cut off from among his people. Yeah, because you had guys back then, you had guys back then that, that, that said that, um, you know, you know, the Apostle Tar asked them if uh, they ate anything, they said, yeah, some chocolate chip cookies and some milk. Because it doesn't say you can't eat chocolate chip cookies and milk. And that's what I mean. You know, the Lord has to make everything specific for certain guys, man. That nigga is probably dead right now. Uh, this is Ecclesiastes in the Scriptures 8 and 11. It says, because sentence against an evil work is not executed speedily, therefore the heart of the sons of men is fully set in them to do evil. And that's what a lot of y'all are doing because you, you've been doing this wickedness for a number of years and the Most High haven't judged you yet. And you don't think you are going to be judged. And the time is going to come when you're going to be judged. And the most house is going to open up on you niggas, man. When you do research on these niggas, man, they, I mean, they, they literally, just like the scriptures say, surpass the deeds of the wicked, man. You niggas are fucking animals, man. And when the most high starts destroying you, we're going to be secretly, well, openly, we're going to be uh, celebrating your destruction, your demise. And anybody that's not in Israel, man, if you are more of you, black conscious, whatever, Islam, whatever you into, the Most High is going to destroy you, man. The Most High is going to destroy you. If you're not in what we're into, then guess what? The Most High is going to deal with you, man. And he's going to do it. One day he's going to, he's going to, he's going to do it. And, and, and you're going to try to get this out right. And, the most, and you might call on the name of the Most High. And the Most High is going to, still going to kill your black ass. Smash you. Please don't come to us, man, because you ain't gonna get the hand, you're gonna get the foot. You're gonna get that foot. Get the, get, keep keep it moving. The All right? Foot. <laughs> yeah, man. Hey, uh, I got a scripture. The book of Proverbs uh, 19 and 29. Judgment or judgments are prepared for scorners and strikes for the backs of fools. Yeah, so deal with that. You that look. That nigga is probably dead right now. Uh, this is Ecclesiastes in the Scriptures 8 and 11. It says, because sentence against an evil work is not executed speedily, therefore the heart of the sons of men is fully set in them to do evil. And that's what a lot of y'all are doing because you, you've been doing this wickedness for a number of years and the Most High haven't judged you yet. And you don't think you are going to be judged. And the time is going to come when you're going to be judged. And the most house is going to open up on you niggas, man. When you do research on these niggas, man, they, I mean, they, they literally, just like the scriptures say, surpass the deeds of the wicked, man. You niggas are fucking animals, man. And when the most high starts destroying you, we're going to be secretly, well, openly, we're going to be uh, celebrating your destruction, your demise. And anybody that's not in Israel, man, if you are more of you, black conscious, whatever, Islam, whatever you into, the Most High is going to destroy you, man. The Most High is going to destroy you. If you're not in what we're into, then guess what? The Most High is going to deal with you, man. And he's going to do it. One day he's going to he's going to he's going to do it. And 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 you're going to try to get this out right. And the Mo and you might call on the name of the Most High. And the Most High is going to still going to kill your black ass. Going to do it. And, and, and you're going to try to get this out right. And, the most, and you might call on the name of the Most High. And the Most High is gonna, still going to kill your black ass. going to smash you. Shalom, shalom. First and foremost, I'm going to give all praises to Yahweh, to Hashem, Yahweh Shah, to Hashem, and Kakodash, and double honors to the apostles, to the elders of Great Millstone. And shalom to the Lord's elect, wherever you may be. Hopefully, elect the house of David. You know that and those of you brothers, you know that it, I do want to work. Hey, y'all, me on shop, rock a thumb. Um, we're we're in, in the day of atonement. You know, um, you know, as you see the elders there on the screen, you know, going into uh, atonement. 
but but I want to stop it there because I want it's a scripture I wanted to get I, like the other apostle Tahar was saying you know even though you may know the name of the Lord man the Lord still might destroy you man you know so this is the book of um Matthew chapter it's a seven and seven and twenty one <clears throat> He said, Not everyone that said unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven, but he that doeth the will of my Father which is in heaven. Many shall say to me that in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in thy name, and in thy name have cast out devils, and in thy name have done many wonderful works. And then will I profess unto them, I never knew you, depart from me, ye that work iniquity, man. So it's gonna it's a lot of it's gonna be a lot of people that know the name of Yahweh Shem Yahweh But hey, the Lord, hey, the Lord, the Lord ain't ain't hearing them, man. You know what I'm saying? The Lord ain't hearing them, man. Lord, when the Lord is hearing us, you know. But um, see, and, and it's a lot of guys that's that's doing this, this uh, deceitfully, you know, for uh for 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 gain, you know, for monetary gain, you know, um, you know, just a. You know, just 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 to have um, just to be seen, man. You know what I'm saying? But um, this is uh the book of uh, is it Second Chronicles? Second Chronicles. Fifteen. And verse 12, it said, And they entered into a covenant to seek the Lord, Yahweh, their power of their fathers, with all their heart and with all their soul. Verse 13, it said, And that whosoever would not seek the Lord, power, Yahweh of Israel, should be put to death, whether small or great, whether man or woman. So like the Apostle Paul was saying, hey man, if, if, if you're not in this, if you're not seeking the God of Israel, if you are in the Kemet, Christianity, Buddhism, all these other uh all these other religions and, and, and things of the world, man, hey Yahabashim Yah Shah is gonna put you to death, man. And it, and it says clearly right there, right there, 2 Chronicles 13, 15 and 13. That who whosoever would not seek the Lord power of Israel should be put to, to death, whether uh small or great. With a man or woman, you know. So, so hey, it's, hey, it's best to seek the God of Israel, man, because only the God of Israel is gonna save you, man. You know, these other guys can't save, man. These other things, of these other guys that you worship, it can't save you, man. They cannot save you, man. This is the book of Isaiah, Isaiah, uh, forty-five, forty-five and seventeen. The point is on down a little further, but I'm gonna start at uh, four to five and seventeen. It said, but Israel shall be saved in the Lord with an everlasting salvation. You should not be ashamed nor confounded world without him. So eventually, all Israel is gonna be saved, but two thirds are gonna be put to death on this side, man. Two thirds are gonna be destroyed on this side. Uh, According to the book of Zechariah, chapter 13, verse 8 on down, man. You know? The Lord is only going to, oh, he's only going to save his elect, man. His, 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 uh, the one third of his own people, man. 33.33 percent, 33 man. You know? Of the nation of Israel, man. It said, um, for thus said the Lord that created the heavens, the Most High himself that formed the earth and made it, he, he hath established it. He created it not in vain. He formed it to be inhabited. I am the Lord, Yahweh, and there is none else. Verse 19. I have spoken in, I have not spoken in secret in a dark place of the earth. I said not unto, unto the seed of Jacob, Seek ye me in vain. I, the Lord, Yahweh, speak righteousness. I declare things that are right. So the Lord declared things that are right and what is right in the Lord's sight. What, what he set up for us to do, man. You know, righteousness. Hey, to, to keep the laws our best of our ability to seek him, you know. Because he's the power of, he, he's our power, man. You know. 
He's our creator, man. You know? Assemble yourselves and come draw near together, ye that are escaped of the nations that have no knowledge that set up the wood of their uh, their graven images and pray unto a God that cannot save, man. See these niggas, they pray unto they pray unto Sage Boisier. They pray unto these uh uh these, these false gods, man. They pray unto the universe. They pray unto everything else, but Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, and Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai is gonna destroy them for this shit, man. It says, "Tell ye, tell ye, and bring them near, yeah. Let them take counsel together. Who have declared this from the who have declared this from the ancient time? Who have told it from that time? Have not I the Lord? And there is no power." else besides me a just power and a savior there is none beside me verse 22 look unto me and be ye saved all the ends of the earth for I am the most high and there is none else I have sworn by myself the word is going out of my mouth in righteousness and shall not return that unto me every knee shall bow, and every tongue shall swear. Surely shall one say in the Lord, Have our righteousness and strength. Even to him shall men come, and all that are incensed against him shall be ashamed. Man. In the Lord shall all the seed of Israel be justified and shall glory. This is the book of um This is Job five and verse Verse, verse 19, it said, He shall deliver thee in six troubles, yeah, in seven there shall no evil touch thee. In famine he shall redeem thee from death, and in war from the power of the sword. Thou shalt be hid from the scourge of the tongue, neither shall not thou be afraid of destruction when it comes. So we won't be afraid of destruction. See, the elect, they, hey, see, the elect got angels around them, man. The elect got angels, man. They aren't guardian angels, man. You know? Scripture say that uh the, 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 the angels encamped around about them that fear the Lord, man. You know? It said, For thou should be at lead let me slack you, at destruction and famine thou shalt laugh, neither shall thou be afraid of the beasts of the earth. But you other niggas, you ain't gonna you're not gonna be laughing, man. You niggas that is not under the uh the covering of you have some y'all shot, you niggas not gonna be laughing, man. You niggas gonna be mourning, man. You know? You niggas gonna be mourning, man. He said, neither shall thou be afraid of the beasts of the earth. See, and the Lord got he created or uh, teeth of wild beasts to bring destruction, to bring judgment on you niggas as well, man. You know? A lot of you niggas go, you literally, you a lot of you niggas literally probably gonna run into lions and bears, man. You know? Them uh, 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 a group of pit bulls, uh, 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 um, yeah, man. A lot of you niggas probably gonna run into a lot of wild animals, man. It said, For thou shalt be in league with the stones of the field, and the beasts of the field shall be at peace with thee.
me get this last scripture, then I um back to the apostles. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 65. <clears throat> Isaiah 65 and 13. Therefore, thus said the Lord Power, Behold, my servants shall eat, but ye shall be hungry. Behold, my servants shall drink, but ye shall be thirsty. Said, Behold, my servants shall rejoice, but ye shall be ashamed. Behold, my servants shall sing for joy of heart, but ye shall cry for sorrow of heart, and shall howl for vexation of spirit. I'm going to get this last one in the book of Proverbs. This is Proverbs 1. And um, twenty four, <clears throat> because I have because I have called and ye refused, I have stretched out my hand and no man regarded, but ye have said it not all my counsel and with none of my reproof, I will also laugh at your calamity. And I will mock when your fear cometh. So you hear your Habash Mio Sha is gonna mock when your fear cometh, man. When your fear come upon you, hey, the men of the Lord gonna mock you, man. You know? They're gonna mock you when your fear come upon you, man. Because when 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 the place of repentance was opened unto you, you despised it, man. You know? You didn't want to get right in the eyes of your Habash Mio Sha. You figured your way was your way was better, man. You know? You figure, you figure. You had it. You had the truth, man. You had you had the truth. That's what you figured, man. You know? It said, but ye have said it not all my counsel and with none of my reproof. I will also laugh at your calamity and I will mock when your fear cometh. When your fear cometh as a desolation and destruction come as a whirlwind. When distress and anguish come upon you. Then shall they call upon me, but I will not answer. They should seek me early, but they should not find me. For they hated knowledge and did choose, did not choose the fear of the Lord. See, that's the problem. You don't choose the fear of the Lord, man. You not fear the Lord. It said, they, they were none of my counsel. They despised all of my reproof. Therefore shall they eat of the fruit of their own way and be filled with their own devices. For the turning of the way of the slack you. For the turning away of the simple shall slay them, and the prosperity of fools shall destroy them. But whosoever hearken unto me shall dwell safely, and shall be quieted from the fear of evil. So Lord willing, that was edified. Like I say, a call halon yu la yehawa b'hashem yehawa shai b'hashem akakodash. A shalom. I'm gonna uh, put it back on the elders now. You're gonna get the foot. You're gonna get that foot. Get the, get, keep, keep it moving. The All right? Foot. <laughs> yeah, man. Hey, uh, I got a scripture. The book of Proverbs uh, 19 and 29. Judgment or judgments are prepared for scorners and stripes for the backs of fools. Yeah, so deal with that. You that love to scoff and scorn, just know judgment is coming for you. And it ain't. Yeah. It ain't, it ain't gonna be pretty, man. I'm gonna read it again. Because it's a, it's a beautiful scripture. Proverbs 19 and 29. Judgments are prepared for scorners and stripes 
for the backs on the back of fools. Now the script to say the heavenly father is the king of terrors. So why would only you know? You got to be a real dumbass nigga, man, to be a scoffer in the corner and and uh, play around with the king of king of terror. Do it and then mess around with the men of the Most High. Yeah. Here we doing the will of the Most High, and the Most High's mar the angels, the angels are just looking at the Most High, saying, "Please let me get this." Yeah, let me get him, man. Let me get him. And when the time comes, bro, we gonna we gonna we gonna give you a set. We gonna give you a nice send off, man. <laughs> It's a sample, boss. It's a sample. Yeah, yeah, the angels do that, man. It's, no, let me get him. Let me get that nigga, please. I got a real good way to get him. You know? But the Lord has that. That's why the script. I'm sorry, brother. That's why the scriptures say the Lord is long suffering. He said, no, no, just, just, you know. But you got it, bro. Yeah, well, they have a council up in, in the heavens, you know, on the right hand side and the left hand side. The most has said, who's going to do this and who's going to do that? And they'll, and they'll, hey, they put biddings up there, man. You know, they put a bidding unto, unto who's going to do what. Hey, doesn't the scripture say every day judgment doth proceed forward? Yet the wicked know of no shame. Right. Roughly paraphrasing says every day judgment doth proceed forward. So those scoffers, one day they appear on that list. Okay, it's his turn now. You know, and they get that judgment. Uh, this is uh, Isaiah 30 and 1. Woe to the rebellious children, say of Yahweh, that take counsel, but not of me. And that cover with the covering, but not of my spirit, that they may add sin to sin. You know, and 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 th that's the reason why, like the, the scripture the apostle Tar read, you know, um, you know, you got these jakes that keep doing what they're doing because they haven't been judged for it. These coffers they come and talk shit and they see nothing's happening to them, so they keep on doing it, but they don't know that their shit is mounting up. You know, mounting up, mounting up. Remember, the most I could have took the uh, uh, um, the uh, Canaanites out of that land, but he let them go because they still were still committing iniquity. Once it came to a certain point, a cutoff point, the most I got rid of them out of that land. Same thing with you guys. Yeah, I got a precept for you. Uh, the book of Psalms 18 and 40. Thou hast also given me the necks of mine enemies, that I might destroy them that hate me. They cried... But there was none to save them. That's the day of their judgment. Even unto the Lord. But he answered them not. Then did I. Then what? Then did I beat them small. As the dust before the wind. I did cast them out as the dirt in the streets. Okay, that's that's pretty much it. All right, Leviticus 23 and 30. And whatsoever soul it be that doeth any work in that same same day, the same soul will, will I destroy from among his people. See, back then, it was done quickly. Like, you know, you had, a, you know, the script, the Lord said that don't, you shouldn't do no work on a Sabbath day. And this one man, he was picking up sticks, just a simple task of picking up sticks. And what happened? The Lord had him put to death right then and there, you know. But this time the Lord is long suffering because he has a judgment. He has a purpose. But don't think just because the Most High move on you that he's not going to move on you still. He's still going to get you eventually. You know, I don't think he forgot all this. So many, like the scripture says, there's so many people out here. The Lord ain't going to remember my sins. Man, the Lord knows everything, man. Yahweh Hashem Yahushai knows everything. It says, you shall do no man of work. It shall be a statue forever throughout your generations and all your dwellings. It shall be unto you for a Sabbath of rest, and you shall afflict your souls in the ninth day of the month at even. From even to even shall you celebrate your Sabbath. But that's how we keep our days, from even to even. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Speak unto the children of Israel, saying, The fifteenth day of the seventh month shall be the Feast of Tabernacles for seven days unto the Lord. Uh, Sukkoth, you know, there's uh, I forget how to say it in, in the actual uh, um, Kodash, but in the so called Jews call it Sukkoth, which means tabernacles or tents. On the first day shall be in holy convocation, you shall do no servile work therein. Seven days you shall offer an offering made by fire unto the Lord. On the eighth day shall be in holy convocation unto you, you shall offer an offering made by fire unto the Lord. So it's a feast of eight days. But you actually keep the, the Feast of Tents seven days, you know, the Feast in Tents seven days, 
than the eighth day you hold a Sabbath, which is a regular Sabbath anyway. You know? It is a solemn assembly, and you shall do no servile work therein. These are the feasts of the Lord, which you shall proclaim to be holy convocations, to offer an offering made by fire unto the Lord, a burnt offering, a meat offering, a sacrifice, and drink offering, everything upon his day. Beside the Sabbath, uh, the Lord, and beside your gifts, and beside all your vows, and beside all your free will offering, which you give unto the Lord, Yahweh. Also on the fifteenth day of the seventh month, when you have gathered in the fruit, of the land you shall keep a feast unto the Lord seven days on the first day shall you keep shall be a Sabbath and on the eighth day shall be a Sabbath that's your eighth gathering which you have one in the beginning of the year and then coming into the end of the year so you had two of them and then we're going to institute that back in the kingdom because we're going to have have own land you know it says and you shall and you shall and you shall take you on the first day the bowls of goodly trees, branches of palm trees, and the boughs of thick trees, and willows of brook, uh, of the brook, and you shall rejoice before the Lord your power seven days, and you shall keep it a feast unto the Lord seven days in the year. It shall be a statue forever in your generations. You shall celebrate it in the seventh month. You shall dwell in booths seven days. All that are Israelite born shall dwell in booths. And that was only a feast for Israel. Now in the kingdom, the nations are going to have to keep these uh, 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 feast days also. It says that your generations may know. You know, that's why it, it says that in the book of Zechariah, the 14th chapter. They won't get no rain if they, yeah. yeah. Because, you know, you're going to, you know, the, when, when the kingdom is established, the laws, statutes, and commandments are going to be put into our inward parts so we don't have to teach each other anymore. But the Lord is going to be the one that teaches us. But these other nations, they're still going to have to be taught because they're going to have to learn the ways. Because these laws, statutes, and commandments were set up. They were set up to, really to govern the whole uh, world. But it was only given to us at the time because the Lord knew that there was going to be a time when we were going to fall and get back up. But then when the kingdom was established, these nations were going to be forced to uh, uh, keep the laws, statutes, and commandments. Also, um, it says that your generations may know that I made the children of Israel to dwell in booths when I brought them out of the land of Egypt, I am the Lord your power. And that was a memorial of what happened in the in the uh, wilderness. Because we didn't have hotels in the wilderness. You know, you didn't have an inn, you know, a desert inn, you know. And plus, in the kingdom, when we keep it, we're going to be living, we're going to be living super rich. We're going to be living in castles. We're going to have uh, servants wait on us. We're going to have concubines. We're going to have the best of everything. Literally. So for that period of time, we're going to have to humble ourselves. You're going to have to put, you know, you have a crown in your head. You have to bet, you're going to have to be in that field for that period of time. So what did that do? That humbled you, man. Which that shows you that the most high is beautiful, man. Because you got to be, you got to be, you got to understand humility. Kind is is a way of humbling yourself. Is the ultimate way of humbling yourself before the Most High. You got God, and I guarantee you, when we go down there downtown to speak, I bet you there's going to be guys in the audience that've been in the audience for years, and we're going to ask them, "Did you keep the day of?" Oh, I didn't know we were supposed to keep it. And I've been I put up videos on it. We've been talking about it, and we always speak about it, man. And you should know, you guys that can't get it, man. You know, I don't know what to say to you. In other words, the Most High haven't elevated you. To that, to that level. This is serious business, man. That's why you got some guys that are part of the camp, and you got some guys that are in the audience, and maybe the most I put some of them in there just to be in the audience. But there's levels to this thing, just like anything else. Right, that's right. Yeah, I, I got a scripture because um, Elder Apostle Tom mentioned about the kingdom. Uh, it's like a, a glimpse of it. Uh, the book of uh, Isaiah 60, beginning at 15. Whereas thou hast been forsaken and hated, so that no man went through thee, I will make thee an eternal excellency, a joy of many nations. And that's talking about in the kingdom. Thou shalt also, thou shalt also suck the milk of the Gentiles. Now these Gentiles are the other nations. The milk meaning their riches. And shall suck the breast of kings meaning their riches. And thou shalt know that I, um, Isaiah 60 and 16. And you know the whole, you got whole thing, 
And we're going to read about the kingdom too. And Come. How the kingdom's going to be. Come. There's a whole lot of scriptures and topics in my head. Come. That's why I said various topics, other topics. Uh, also, uh, Isaiah 49. Come. Uh, we can read about Solomon's uh, uh, house and temple. Come. How we live. You know, how we're going to live. Come. Come. And we're going to. And we're going to live better than Solomon. You know, we're going to live better than Solomon. And Solomon was Yahweh Shai. In the, in the reincarnation, I'm saying like, Mo, for, you, for the ones of you guys that don't think that reincarnation is in the Bible, uh, that, that includes you, Dr. James White, and uh, uh, you, uh, Rakar, the G-O-C-C. Reincarnation is biblical, man. And you, William Bell. That's right. Yeah, that's, you know, that's pretty much it. I mean, um, basically, uh, you know. Okay. Okay. This is the last verse. Uh, Leviticus 23 and 44. And Moses declared unto the children of Israel the feast of the Lord. That's it on that. Okay. Um.